Welcome to Statics. Example, force and couple simplification in three dimensions. In this example, we have a four foot tall stub column with bolted base plate. Two forces are applied. F1 is a vertical force acting through point A. F2 is acting in a horizontal plane with a line of action through points A and B. A moment is applied at point A in the YZ plane incline from the horizontal as shown by the 3-4-5 triangle. We will simplify the system of forces and moment to a single force resultant and a single moment resultant at point O. Because of the three-dimensional vectors and geometry, we will use Cartesian notation to solve this. First, we will get the coordinates of the key points. Point O is at the origin. Point A is four feet from the origin in the positive Z direction and point B, relative to the origin, is 0 0.8 feet in the positive x direction, 0 0.6 feet in the negative y direction, and 4 feet in the positive z direction. Next we will get our vectors in Cartesian notation. Force F1 is acting vertically downward with a magnitude of 500 kips. We write it as negative 500 k kips. We will get force F2 by multiplying its magnitude 125 kips by a unit vector formed as the position vector from A to B divided by its magnitude. We get 100i minus 75 j kips. Last, we get our moment vector, which is acting in the yz plane. So the i direction is 0. The j direction is 4 fifths times its magnitude, 250 kip feet, and the k direction is 3 fifths times 250. We get 200j plus 150k kip feet. Now to get the resultant force vector, I sum the two forces. I do this by summing the i, j, and k components independently. I get 100i minus 75j minus 500k kips. Now we get the resultant moment vector by summing moments at point O. Remember that each force may contribute to the moment. My equation then is the sum of the moment caused by force 1, the moment caused by force 2, and the free moment vector at point A. Note that the line of action of force 1 passes through point O. The position vector R would then be 0, so it contributes no moment. Force F2, however, does contribute a moment. We have two readily available options for our position vector. One from O to A, and one from O to B. Position vector ROA is simpler, so I will use it. ROA cross F2 gives a moment vector of 300i plus 400j kip feet. Now I get the resultant moment by adding the moment caused by F2 to the given moment at point A, which is a free vector, by summing the components independently. I get a resultant moment at point O as 300i plus 600j plus 150k kip feet. Let's quickly review our results. Our original system is on the left, and our equivalent simplified system is on the right. We simplified the two forces and moment acting at various locations and in various directions into a single force and a single moment acting at point O. 